We are now going to talk about the Truvi disc seed openers. This might be the most important part of the John Deere row unit. As we look at this, the orientation of these two discs together need to have a touch point of one and three quarter inches to two and a half inches. As they wear out, it becomes impossible to maintain that touch point. So at this point, I'd like to take these discs off and show you how to change that. The first thing we need to do is remove our scrapers. These are spring-loaded, and we do so by just pulling them out and removing them. The next thing we want to do is remove the nut. Now remember that as this disc moves forward, we want that nut to tighten that way. So to loosen it would be a left-handed thread. We have to turn this side backwards, remove the nut, and be careful to catch any shims that might be in there. These shims are very important. We don't want to remove or lose them. We'll also remove the back side doing the same, being very careful not to lose any of the shims. <clears throat> it is important to measure these discs. I have a new disc here, which is 15 inches when brand new. These discs have to be removed, replaced when they are wore down to 14 inches. This disc could be reused. It's only at 14 and a half. We would re-shim that by removing shims and moving the disc closer together. This disc has bearing issues though, so we'll want to go ahead and replace it. The other thing you can look at is the bevel on the disc. When that bevel is wore down, that is 14 inches, it's time to replace it. Now that we have disassembled this unit, we have reassembled another unit. We will go take a look at that and how it's supposed to look when it is complete. And now that we've replaced the true V discs, and we've set the shim packs to get the correct contact point between the two discs, we take a couple of business cards. We slide them into the touch points, take a tape measure, and measure the distance between where the two cards touch. Our goal is to be somewhere between an inch and three quarters and two and a half inches. As you can see here, we're really close to two and a quarter inches.